succulent tender chicken tinga made with frozen chicken thighs in 25 minutes? It's possible. Let me show you how. So my family loves this chicken tinga. They adore it. It's comfort food at its best, stick to your ribs, really, really tasty. And the best part is that you can meal prep it, freeze it, or put it in the refrigerator, and it's really great reheated. But the thing that blows my mind on this one is that I use frozen chicken thighs and this dish comes together in 25 minutes. Absolutely unreal. I'm going to show you exactly how you can achieve the same results at home. Okay. So the very first thing that we're going to do is create the base of flavor for our chicken tinga. And I'm going to start by thinly slicing a white onion. Then I'm going to smash a few cloves of garlic using the back of my knife and then finally mince it. So how do we get frozen chicken tender and succulent in 25 minutes? With my friend, the Instant Pot. Yes, pressure cooking is your best friend and I love using the Instant Pot for this dish. So I'm gonna set my Instant Pot to saute mode and I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil, my onions as well as the garlic and I'm gonna sweat them out until they're nice and translucent and soft. Now I'm gonna add in some chopped tomatoes and season with oregano and ground cumin. Now to add a little bit of heat and smokiness to our tinga, I am adding some chipotles and adobo sauce. I'm showing you the tin because this is always a question. What does the tin look like? There are so many different brands, but I love this one. And all I'm going to do is take a few of the peppers and finely chop them up and they're going to go into the tomatoes as well. I'm going to cook the tomatoes until they're soft. I'm also going to pour in a little bit of chicken broth and season with salt to taste. All right, you guys, you know what goes in next? Our frozen chicken thighs, and I'm not even joking. These are rock solid, okay? I got a club pack at the grocery store and then froze them, and they're just gonna melt into the sauce. You will be amazed. So in they go. Lid on, and now I'm going to set my Instant Pot to pressure cook mode on high pressure for 25 minutes. Once the chicken is cooked, I'll let the pressure release naturally and then slowly open the lid. Then I'll take a couple of forks and shred the chicken. And easy does it, our chicken tinga is ready. This chicken tinga looks and smells amazing. I mean, the broth is inviting me in. It's just glimmering holding all of that chicken tinga together. And now I thought I would plate it up. So usually I just go in for the taste and eat the dish straight up, but I am feeling like a burrito bowl today. So I'm gonna load my bowl up with a little bit of plain rice, my chicken tinga, as well as a little bit of salsa and guacamole. And let's get a little bit of everything on that fork. Here goes. Mmm. There is a reason that this is one of our favorite meals of all time. Mm. Huge shout out to the Instant Pot for making this chicken so gosh darn tender. It literally melts in your mouth and it's surrounded by the most gorgeous fiery broth flavored by those smoky chipotles, that bit of tomato and those spices. I could literally drink it by the bowlful. Now today I turned this chicken tinga into a burrito bowl, but it is so versatile. You can top it on a salad, stuff it in a tortilla to make a taco, or even a quesadilla with a bit of cheese. But trust me on this one, you have to try this recipe because I'm sure it's gonna become a family favorite.